Hi, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery here. And today I would like to talk about how to export a PDF report from Xactimate X1. So as more of us move from version 28 over to X1, there's some confusion about where things are found and what report type you should be using and all those other things. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you where you can get the PDF report and explain a couple of the different report types that I think you should be using as a contractor. So let's go take a look at how to do that export. So we have an estimate open here in X1, and you can see that there's this new blue ribbon over to the left. And if I collapse that, the basic meat and potatoes of the estimate item screen looks pretty much like 28. But for X1, they've added this new blue ribbon over here to the left, and that's where you're going to find a lot of options for photos, documents, and other things that used to reside up here in the top right if you use version 28 or the online version. So they've moved those over here to this blue ribbon. You can also see you can collapse that blue ribbon. I think that's where some of the confusion is coming from is you don't see it where you're used to seeing the reports or print. You do need to expand this window in order to see, ah, documents and there's reports. So it's actually a subheader under this main header documents that didn't exist before. This button used to be right over here. So just to clear up any confusion, you definitely want to open up that blue ribbon, take a look, and there's your report. So that pretty much looks like 28 there in the middle of my screen. But I did want to go over a couple more things with you just to give you some more info. When you first download and install Xactimate, whether it's 28 or X1, it defaults to the report type abbreviated. And this report type is not something that an adjuster is used to looking at. I want you using what the adjuster is using so you can look at apples for apples. So I'm going to drop down this list here and use the final draft with or without removal depreciation. It's a mouthful, but that's the report type that like 90% of insurance companies use. So if you look here at the preview, you can see the line item detail. It has everything detailed out into these columns like you're used to seeing. You've got your quantity, unit price, all of that. If you look at the abbreviated report, it is very abbreviated. It just has these three columns and then an adjuster might be like, what's going on here? Where's, it's just not used to seeing that. And we don't wanna throw a stick in their bicycle wheel. So that's why I recommend using this final draft with or without removal depreciation. However, if you're dealing with USAA, you will want to run the rough draft report. As most adjusters, the USAA use what's called the rough draft report. And I actually uh, prefer this report. It's pretty cool because it gives me my category and selector codes, as well as my activity and breaks everything down. So this is a really cool report. I wish more insurance companies used it actually. I could build estimates a lot faster. So last but not least, if you're going to want to export this to a PDF, your estimate and turn it into a PDF so you can email the adjuster or show the homeowner, you're going to want to choose export down here below and you want to export. Don't use email. If you click email, it's going to open Outlook and most of us don't use that software. We want to create a standalone PDF file that we can send and that's where you're going to do that. And then of course, just save it wherever you'd like. And that's where you're going to see the PDF like you can see here on my screen. That's where it's created is under that export. So to recap, in X1, all you need to do is open up that side blue ribbon, go under documents and find that subheader reports, use the final draft with or without depreciation report type, or if you're working with USAA or one of a smaller insurance company, you might use the rough draft report. And just click on export and that's all you got to do. Thanks for joining me today. Of course, if you like this topic, click the like button down below. It's like gold for my channel. And also consider subscribing so you get notified of these tips every Tuesday whenever I release them. Again, my name is Alina Wilson with Xmate Mastery. I train contractors how to use Xactimate to get paid what they should. If you'd like to take a look at the training I have to offer, go to xm8mastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.